Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Hey, where's my video? Hold on, let me see. Oh, there I am. Hi, how are you? Fine, teacher. Thank you. Good. I'm so sorry about Thursday. <clears throat> oh. I started my computer normally like every day. And then Zoom had to update. OK, that's one. And when Zoom updated, my computer told me to restart. OK. And when I restarted my computer, it was updating. I was like, oh my god. So it took a long time. Only Nuri is in class today. No. There is Luis, Larry, Miguel. No, I mean, the picture is, but I haven't heard of other. There's Miguel. There's Oscar, there's Luis, Larry. All right, so hi class, welcome. Hi teacher, how are you? I I'm okay. Different teacher. Yeah. Wow, um, I cut my hair and I shaved. I shaved a little. Okay, let me check. Pasó sanidad, teacher. Excuse me? Pasó sanidad. <laughs> yeah. I cut my hair myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> That's why. <funny. laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Mm. All right, let me see. Let me open up the page. I didn't hear you, teacher. Did you say, did you? No, I'm, I'm opening the page right now in this moment. Um, Larry, are you watching TV in this moment? Or somebody, is somebody watching TV? Because I think that complete class can hear the TV. Yeah. Or only me. No, we also interrupt the class. Oh, right here. Um, it's loud. It was loud. Thank you. Thank you. But that's good. <clears throat> Whoever it was, you're watching the news, and that's good. Hey, did you see that magistrado? He got he got 10 years of jail. The uh, ex magistrado. Uh -huh. A year, yay. That's good. That is very, very good. Yeah, if it's, there is enough proof or, or there is enough, it's, it's okay, no? Well, I mean, the thing is, before there was enough evidence. There was, yeah. But, mm -hmm. And um, it was not a crime to touch a little girl, I guess. Right. So I, I'm 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 happy that happened because that was not right. Can you imagine that little girl and her mother? Yeah. All right. So so once again, class. Uh, I'm sorry about Thursday. I was telling the class that uh, when I turned on the, the normally like my routine, I turned it on, and then. Um, and then Zoom was asking me to update. Okay, I'm really sorry. I don't know who's watching TV, but can you put yourself on mute, please? If you can't turn down the volume, please, because you can hear it. Can you hear the TV? Yes. Yes. Who is watching TV? Or put yourself in mute, please. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry. So what I did last last uh, I'm sorry last week was I turned on Zoom and then Zoom was asking me for an update. Okay, so I updated it. When it finished, it told me please restart computer, and that's where the problem started, because I restarted the computer, 
and it took forever. And then the computer was an automatic update. Mm -hmm. Oh man, and then suddenly don't turn off. 1%, 2%, 3%, <laughs> God, it yes. finished. If, but you know what? It finished like at 10, 10 at night. Oh then the next day, I took the computer, the, the PC to um, to the IT person, see if they can fix it. It was very slow too. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> let me share the screen with you. Teacher. Yes. I have some problems uh, with the platform. Can you help me, please? Yeah, we will see them today. <clears throat> with the exercise? Yes. Okay, yeah, no problem. So remember, uh, where we finished on Saturday, oh, I'm sorry, Saturday, on Thursday, we were doing the finding, um, Remember, uh, defining a relative clause and a non-relative clause. What is the difference? The one is uh, like important. Essential information. Essential information. And the other one is like just. Optional. Uh -huh, optional. Very Rally. good. Yes. And remember, how do we know the difference between uh, <clears throat> essential and optional information? It depends on you. It depends how you say it. Because I remember we the last time we spoke, it was about Donald Trump. And it's funny because Donald Trump is, he, he is controversial and he was the ex-president. I mean, those two are essential. But that depends how you want to do it. So uh, Donald Trump is, is an ex-president who is very controversial. So uh, right now, what am I using essential here? In that sentence, what do you think was the essential information? Uh, where no. people go to the celebrate Mardi Gras. No, listen, Donald Trump is an ex-president oh. who was, I'm sorry, Donald Trump is very controversial, who was an ex-president. <clears throat> oh, let me make it simpler, como dije al principio. Donald Trump was the ex-president who is very controversial. What do you think is essential information in my opinion? Who, is, who, was, who was the ex-president? Who no. was the ex-president, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, if I say this, Donald Trump, who is very essential, <laughs> who is very um, controversial, was the ex-president. What is the optional information there? The optional is like controversial, no? It's a controversial man. No, actually, it's who was, who is. Yes, I'm sorry, you're right. Uh, yes, Donald Trump, who is a very controversial man, <clears throat> is an ex-president of the United States. Right, because it's more important to know that he was an ex-president. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Or, or, but it's like what I'm saying. It depends it on how depends, you say right. it. The people who want to know. <laughs> yeah, it depends how you want to express. Yeah. All right. So, let me see. Let me move them. You see, the problem is that when I am the host, I have that little screen of all of you guys in my screen. So I always have to move it so I can move the normal screen. Okay, knowledge check. It says, instructions. Read the following sentences. Identify the relative clause. Then rewrite the same sentence. Add commas where necessary. Remember capital letters and period. 
Mirna, can you do number one, please? And you choose number two. Yeah. So uh, read, read number one. Bank, bank called with capital <clears throat> of Thailand has many excellent restaurants and markets. So oh, but first, I'm sorry, can you start over again, please? Bang, Bangkok. 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 Okay, Bangkok. Bangkok, comma, which is the capital of Thailand, comma. Okay, do me a favor. Can you just read number one normally and then you tell me what the sentence is? the correct okay. sentence you think okay so bangkok which is the capital of thailand has many excellent restaurants and markets okay so where do you think the correct way is i don't remember okay bang bangkok uh, coma which is the capital of thailand uh, the capital of has thailand of Thailand, of Thailand, has many excellent. Coma has many excellent restaurants and markets. I think. Which is the capital of Thailand, has many oh. excellent restaurants and markets. Oh, after another comma after Thailand. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, I think. Okay, we'll see. Choose number two, Mirna. <laughs> Um, Luis. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, so can Hong you read Kong, number two, read the example, and then you tell me the correct way you think it is. Okay. Hong Kong was a British colony until 1987 when it was returned to China. Okay, okay, so what do you think the correct way now, is? Now the, the answer is Hong Kong was a British colony until 1997, a comma, when, when it was a return to China. Good. Can you pick number three, please? Okay, let me check the lead. Okay, Mirna Sanabria. No, uh, she started. No. Okay, let me check. Oscar Osvaldo Herrera. Hey, thank you. Uh, the number three is Busan is a busy port city that is located in South Korea. Uh, then the correct answer is Busan is a busy port city, comma, that is uh, located in South Korea. Very good. Can you choose number four, please? Okay, number four, Nuri. Okay. Bogota, which is situated on a high plateau in central Colombia, has frequently changing weather. I think it's Bogota, coma, which is situated on a high plateau in central Colombia, coma, has frequently changing weather. Okay. I think teacher, but, but in the platform is wrong. Did everyone get that one wrong? Yes, it's wrong that way. Yeah, I got yeah. it wrong. It's wrong, but I don't yeah. think Every, that. It, it doesn't matter the order you write it down. Always <laughs> told me it's wrong. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> There's always an issue with the platform. We'll check, we'll check. Okay, Nuri, can you can you choose the next victim, please? Yes, it's uh, Oscar. I was after, before you. Somebody except Oscar, Luis, and uh, Mirna, Nuri. 
Ah, okay. Somebody Mirna. who has not participated. Mirna? Mirna already participated. She started. I can see uh, my classmate, only Alex, Larry, and Oscar. Okay, pick Larry. Uh, uh, are you from the cell? Are you are you from the cell phone? No, my computer. Maybe it's your settings. Check the box. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, Larry. Larry, cool. Number five. Montreal is a sophisticated city where some for the best cuisine in Canada is found. Uh, for me, the answer is uh, Montreal is a sophisticated city, comma, for some. Uh, it has to be off, not for, but uh, where some of the best cuisine in Canada is found. But you have to write it FO instead of off. Really? Yeah, because in the original sentence, it, it is F O. Okay, like this. Like that? No, in found, it's okay. Uh, after some. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, what a big error. It, no, it, it's okay. F O. If you write it uh, as <laughs> off, it will be wrong. So the correct way is F O. Yeah. <laughs> because the original sentence is write it down like that. Oh my God. And it's not the only one. I don't know where, but one sentence ha says, um, I don't remember. Independent. The right thing is independent, but it but it says independent. <laughs> really? Oh man. Okay, and number six, Larry, can you choose someone? Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, Sonia. Hi. The last is Sao Paulo, comma, which is the biggest city in Brazil, comma, is also one of the world's most popular cities. So Sao Paulo, where is the comma, I'm sorry? Coma, Sao Paulo, coma. Mm -hmm. Which is the biggest city in Brazil? Coma. Mm -hmm. Is also one of the girls most popular cities. One of the worlds. It's one of the world's most popular cities. Please repeat, it's one of the world's, not girls, world's. Is one of the girls. No, world's, like wow. Why, we, we, well, this is a tip, people. When you can't pronounce something, use the syllables. So, wa, we, we, wo, woo. So, wo, world. Warm. Exactly. Very good. Okay. Let me check. Hey, we got them all correct. And yes, Larry, you're right. It's full. Look. Oh. Yeah. Uh, something is, is wrong with with the. But then I still have the number four number wrong. Four. I don't know why. 
but it's so, uh, written down like you have it. Hey, you, you see, uh, after Bogotá and comma, there's no space mm -hmm. between comma and wish. Oh man, this, this is... Yeah, this is a... I'm sorry, this is a mistake from... So we don't have to to give, um, to put the space, no? Oh, I mean, logically, grammatically, and everything is correct. You need a space, comma, space. Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. But now in this case. The, in this case, the, oh my God, I'm so sorry yeah. about that. Class. I have tried, I have tried every possible <laughs> A space it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Why not without the space? Yeah, without the space. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so do it wrong and it's going to be right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So when you're stuck, do it the wrong way. Um, so you, you just put just one comma and no space, right? Yes. Just one comma after Bogota and no space. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I have a friend that he lived in Sao Paulo well, and he lived in Rio de Janeiro. And he told me that it's very beautiful, but it's very dangerous. Right. Um, when, when you had the time, he showed me a video. It's crazy. In the video, it's called Las Piranhas or something. It's something with piranhas. And um, this people they were they were recording from the hotel because you see Rio de Janeiro and you see like all beautiful, but on the other side is the favelas. So then the people they were recording and then you see hundreds and hundreds of colored people running, running down to the beach but running and what they do is that they start taking things from people in the beach, but like running like, like piranhas. And the funny thing is that the police, when they try to catch them, they just take off their shirts and pretend they're tourists. But it's, it's amazing how the person recorded and you see all the, the little kids, man, then, um, they're, they're, they're black little kids running down to take everything from, from the tourists. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. I wouldn't go to Brazil. And the women are very beautiful too. <laughs> okay. Can Do I you talk know about? Portuguese? No, I don't. No, I don't. I, I would love to go to Portugal. That would be nice. Oh, Paulo is safer than Rio. <clears throat> Maybe, yeah, I imagine. I was there for uh, four or five times. In Sao Paulo? Yeah. Oh, man. And this friend of mine, he got married. And he's very, he's very stupid because he went on a honeymoon to Brazil. And he had problems with his wife in the honeymoon. Because he told me that in the beach, women are basically naked in bikinis. And, and my friend was- Tiny bikinis. Uh-huh, and my friend was like, oh my God, oh my God. You know, it was, it was like, it was difficult not to look. So his wife got angry. And I said, why do you take your wife on a honeymoon to a country where all the women are beautiful and to the beach? That's, that's not, it's like, don't tell me in your anniversary, you're going to go to Colombia or Venezuela, man. <laughs> yes. Okay, class. So listen, I'm sorry about the platform. The, that's, I think that's eternal. But you know what? Thank you because you actually, when you don't get it right, what I like that you do is that you figure out the mistake. So that's good. Okay, now we will talk about cities. That's why I was talking about Sao Paulo right now. 
So an exercise to talk about cities. Let's listen to the video here. Can you hear? No. Nothing. No, no. Okay, hold on. Nothing at all. Are you not sharing the... Yeah, I am not sharing. You're right. Have you guys seen Batman yet? Not yet. Oh, no, no. I heard it's good. Yeah, my friend said that. What the boo? I downloaded it yesterday, but I'm going to check it out tonight. Let me see. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Let's go. Hi. Let's go over some words which will help you talk a little bit about your city. Describing a city, architecture, cuisine, costumes, festival, historical sites, nightlife, scenery, shopping. What are some important features for you? Talk to your classmates and teacher about the ideal place for you to live in. Try to use the words just learned. All right, so let's do that real quick. And um, let's start about your city. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna start with Mirna because I know she is, well, actually Mirna and Sonia because you two are from Metapan. Can you tell me something unique about Metapan, a tradition or? My custom. Wait, please. <laughs> Sorry, but my father is Griton. <laughs> He's what? Griton. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, so tell me, tell me something, but but tell me something that maybe maybe it only happens in Metapan. Oh. Um, because don't tell me we eat pupusas. No, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we have a tradition of say dia. I don't know if you say that. Oh, really? What can you say? Can give me a sentence? Uh, like, <laughs> um, you say, if you told me, um, um, I eat, Eight pupusas. I ate eight pupusas. And I say you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, it's like. You, you it's say. Like, you, oh my God. You say dia. Dia, like yeah. with a D? Oh, okay. it's, 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 it's weird. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I've never I heard that. I think that. that so when somebody says that. Only Metapan says that. Oh, okay. Hey, thank you. That, that's, that's. Sonia, um, do you say that? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and my my sisters that live in San Salvador, they joke. Eh, burla? I don't know. They laugh. They make fun. Make yeah. fun. They make fun. To me. Do you know what a charamusca is? Yeah, it's a topollillo. Okay, I, okay, so Occidente people, you guys call it topollillo, right? Topollillo yes. or charamusca? <laughs> Oh, because I know Santa Ana calls it topollillo. Yeah, but it's most common. But you know what? It makes sense, topollillo, because when you look at it, it looks like topollillo, the perfil, <laughs> the, the, the charamusca. <laughs> really, uh, somebody in, in Santa Ana explained that to me. But why topollillo? Because look at it. When you see the, it looks like topollillo. It, 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 it has a better a better story than charamusca. Yeah, because when you explain <laughs> in San Salvador, why charamusca? I don't know. What about, uh, okay, somebody, is, who else is not from San Salvador? Who else is like from outside of San Salvador? I'm from Santa Ana, teacher. Um, All right, tell me. Like Mirna. <laughs> okay. <Sony. laughs> but tell me something about Santa, Santa Necos. Well, well, well uh, Funny thing that you're talking about the the, the topollillos is mamones. We call it in Santana talpajocotes. Talpajocotes, you know really? Yes. <laughs> oh man, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh cool. Well, um, I don't know what one um, 
one thing here in Santana is um, there are a lot of uh, uh, crafted pizzerias. There are a lot of pizzerias and not not industrial pizza like Pizza oh, Hut. Good. And, so you have you have options. a lot of, of restaurants. Of, Artes, yes, artesanal. Artesanal. Like rustic. Artesan pizzerias. Yes. That's so. It's so delicious. I love that pizza. You know, in San Salvador, we need that because there, here in San Salvador, there are some rustic pizza places, but I mean, here's only Little Caesars and Pizza Hut. I don't know if Sonia know that, but here in Metapan, there are, there are a place. There's there is a, a place. The, yeah, the, there is a place that... Uh, that her name, his name is Saulitos Pizza. It's in a canton, canton, San Jorge. And it's like, I don't know, 30 minutes of the sea of the- From, from the city. From, from the city, but it's so delicious. And, and all, it only opens Thursday and Saturday. And all the people of the city go, go to there. Carlitos. Saulitos. Saulitos. Oh, interesting. Mirna, this is where the 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 Eolic Park is, or there, there are the 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 antennas of the the Eolic Energy. No, I, I hear that the, they sell pizza too in the in the place. In yeah, the, it's near. It's, it's near for for this. Okay. God, I'm hungry now. I can't eat. The uh, teacher, how? ¿Cómo se dice? Las cosas eólicas. Las qué? Las ah, torres eólicas de la energía eólica. The eólica energy teacher, like the... Like Here's the, in Metapan. En, it's energy, energy towers. towers. Yeah. Yes. Eolic but energy. The only energy. There is a, a eolic park here in Metapan. Oh, really? In Metapan. Yeah. So energía cool. eólica. Ventus. All right, hey, that's good, man. All right, Occidente people. Good job, what about somebody else? Is everybody from San Salvador? Uh, me, for example, I'm from La Paz. Mm -hmm. um, La Paz is like the airport, correct? All right, but we have more like small cities, like all oh, Nonualcos, you know, the Nonualcos, Santiago Nonualco, San Pedro Nonualco. San Juan no Nualco. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I'm from That's San true. That's true. There's a lot of non-Nualcos, right? Yeah, right. Because there is, a, there was a, in the, the previous or the colony, or um, there were like, you know, Anastasio Aquino, there's from non -Nualcos. Okay. There is a, a little mountain with a rock. Mm -hmm. And they say that uh, there is a cave in there. So when Anastasio Aquino or oh, the conquerors came, the Sp Spanish conquerors came. So Anastasio Aquino, is, he hide in the in those caves, right? In the, um, a little mountain. So you can see there uh, when you go uh, when you go to Zacatecoluca, you can see a, a mountain. There is the cave of Anastasio Aquino, they, 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 tell you, they, they can say. And you see the, the mountain, it's a big rock, you can see. Um, Interesting. Yeah, it's in, in Rosario La Paz. You know, I don't know if you, did you ever hear about the, some YouTubers, Catarina Sin Fronteras? It was a person, he, it was a couple. He was from Argentina and she is from Brazil. Uh, they, they, they're traveling in a, in a combi mm -hmm. from Brazil and they want to go to Canada. And they're start band, but to me personally, I think they are the best YouTubers because, for example, they stayed in El Salvador one year. 
And um, they actually, they love El Salvador more now because when they were coming, it's when El Salvador closed in, in the, for the pandemic. The pandemic, yeah. So they, 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 they told me that they were driving and they, wait, what, what happened? And people like, oh my God, you can't be in the street. You will get arrested. And what happened? So then, um, and they are very happy with El Salvador because the government, they say the government told no, stay here one year. They give them permission. So, um, well, the thing is, I really recommend you watch them on YouTube. They have all those videos. Oh my God, they go to some place because their trip, their their idea, they go to places where nobody goes. You will not see a video from them in La Gran Vía. Right. No, I mean you will see like they they went to every department in El Salvador, and they started recording and they know the history about it. Mm -hmm. And you feel very bad because you say, oh, my God, I lived here all my life and I never knew that existed. <laughs> yeah. And every video, they went everywhere. Some beautiful, beautiful places. I think I think they went to that Aquino place. In fact, she tattooed me. I, I became friends with them really? because uh -huh. they were staying near my office where I work. So I frequently visited them. You know, we became friends and it was pretty cool. But I recommend you, Katarina Sin Frontera. Katarina is the name of the combi. Of the combi. Okay. And it's okay, cool so. because the combi, they, it has the bathroom. It, they, it shows you how they take a shower and they cook. It has everything, a refrigerator, a little combi. I recommend you watch that. It's very nice. Um, yeah, great. I, I, I have lived, I lived in Metapan for a while. I lived in Santa Ana for a while, working. And I lived in um, San Miguel. San Miguel and Santa Ana are very different. The only thing in common is that both people are very, very nice. In and, fact, yeah. I think they are nicer than San Salvador people. <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah, hot too. Can... Okay, that's the difference now. So you don't know the Port Central, Port Central area like San Vicente and La Paz? No, not really. Yeah. Because you know, there is a lot of, uh, for example, my town, my little town, mm -hmm. San Peronalco, which is celebrate the, um, the Citric, um, the Citric Festival. We call it before before the pandemic, but but we 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 stop it when when you know for the pandemic. Yeah. But we just restarted like the last week and the last week before this before yesterday um so we we just uh you can find anything about citric you know because we have a lot of uh um uh orange uh orange uh, uh, any kinds of um or citrix wow nice fruits, yeah so we made uh you know cakes uh you put the orange uh, you may make uh, um, all drinks and you put a little piquete called them. Um, yeah. You can find I, all those. those, those have time. you ever been to San Miguel and eaten pupusas with mayonnaise curtido? Yes, I like oh, it. I, right? have, I haven't tried yeah, it. Me too. I like it, you know. Yes. I really I like it. Nasty. No, it's not because, I mean, it's curtido, but except vinegar, they put mayonnaise. So it's like what what the pupusa in San Miguel teacher there are things I like it there. Oh yeah, me too. I love the tortillas in San Miguel because the tortillas in San Miguel they're big, but they're very, very thin. So then the cool thing is like when you know how when you buy tortillas and you put them in the freezer, and when you want to toast one in in El Salvador, they're thick. So you keep on have to flipping it, flipping it, flipping it. But the, the San Miguel tortillas, because they're so thin, they toast very quick. <laughs> Metapan. <laughs> Metapan too. Like, no, I, I love my Metapan. Meta, uh, we oh. have the park, Monte, Monte Cristo Park. Yeah, yeah, it's at Monte Cristo Park. Yeah. One thing I also noticed about San Miguel, okay, really, man, it's, it's, it's unbelievably hot. You can hear it. You can hear it. I promise you. So yeah, like really, when you when you open the car, it's the same. Boom! It's like you feel the heat. 
But one thing I will never understand, it was funny. It was actually funny because I used to teach there and my first class was at seven in the morning. So I remember I, I used to wake up because my house was maybe two blocks from, from the school. So I used to wake up like at six in the morning, take a shower and go eat breakfast. At six in the morning, maybe it was the only time of the day that it was not cold. It was not cold, but it was not hot. It was like, oh man, que esto fuera eterno. You know, and it was funny because I opened the door when I was walking to, to my school, you see pickups, you see many pickups in the morning. I imagine they, they come from La Union and, and people are so exaggerated because they have jackets and sweaters, you know, like they are cold. It's like, no. <laughs> They are Something cold. usual in San Miguel. Yeah, but only at that time, you know, like they take a sweater because at six in the morning is just too cold. For them, that's cold. Yes. And it was it was funny to see that. Uh, I also remember that um, I've noticed one thing that people from San Miguel don't sweat. You can tell when somebody is a visitor or somebody is not from San Miguel because it's so hot and your sh your clothes is sticky. Your clothes is sticky because you're sweating. And if you see somebody from San Miguel, they are hot, but they're okay. Mm. They don't sweat. So your body gets used to it. Uh -huh, their body. The observation, you're right. I, I worked like eight years too in San Miguel. And uh -huh. yes, it's very nice people and, and, and well, the, the volcan Chaparrastic, it looks very nice too in, in the highway when you, you, yeah, you I, enter San I, Miguel. I, remember. Always, I, think, I think that's the most beautiful volcano in, in El Salvador because it's, it's perfect. When the highway, it is a perfect triangle. It looks very beautiful. Yeah, but I like San... Oh, and also in San Miguel, I actually learned how to eat totopostes. Do you know totopostes? I, I hate it. I, I don't uh, like it. <laughs> I didn't I like under it. I didn't understand the you know why would does someone want to eat this extremely hard why would people want to eat this but <laughs> San Miguel is the only place I have seen that people in San Salvador don't eat it like that in San Salvador in, in San Miguel people get the toto poste and they put it inside the coffee and they let yeah. it swim they let it swim <laughs> No, no, they just let it swim. And then they drink their coffee normally. Oh, yeah. They take their time. When yeah. they finish the coffee, then they eat it. So during all that time that Toto Poste is swimming in there, it gets, I don't know, pushing. <laughs> or make soft. Yeah, it, a little softer. But is it sweet or, or it's not sweet? No, it's not. It's uh, kind of. It really? Uh, kind no, of. Uh, I don't really like toto postes, to be honest with you. They made from 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 corn. Uh, from corn and, and um and lard, like manteca. Oh. Yeah. They're, they're, huh. You know, teacher, the, the the good ones are the I... rosquetas, which are like little donuts. They are sweet. They are. They're really, really nice, really oh. yummy. Have you ever eaten panes migueleños here? Miguel. I'm sorry? Yeah. Have you ever eaten panes migueleños? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. The funny part wow. is that if you go to San Miguel and you tell them, hey, de aquí son los famosos panes migueleños, they're like, nope. what? Nope. <laughs> uh -huh. What panes migueleños? And you tell them, in San Salvador, there's like famous places that are called panes migueleños because... And they tell you, no, man, there's no panes migueleños here. So one day they told me, teacher, let's go eat, let's go eat panes con pollo. O sea, en San Miguel they're called panes con pollo. Panes con pollo. They're big. <laughs> they're just <That's> right. big. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're very big with the egg. So everybody sells them like that. Mm -hmm. It's cool. All right. So that's, that's what about a city. Larry, tell us, 
just tell us like something interesting about Sao Paulo. Well, first of all, why did you go there for uh, business yeah. or pleasure? Oh, business. Yeah. Yeah, I was working for Holcim, and I had to go there for uh, training for uh, work. Uh, and once for uh, like uh, it was something like a meeting for the all the IT guys in Latin America. Wow! And uh, did you like it? It's, it's nice. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice, but uh, Sao Paulo has a problem. Uh, they have a river like. Uh, like the one that we have around crossing the, the, the city. Uh, so for them, the river is very, very um, big in, in across the, the city. So the smell is very <laughs> good. <laughs> so the river is very contaminated. Yeah, a lot. You can see. Uh, the Asalguate is uh, something like a, a very, very little river for comparing that one with uh, Sao Paulo. And you can see a lot of things uh, over the, the water. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> nah, not, not good enough. And did you shower there? No! <laughs> no, no, no. Everybody knows that the the river is uh, uh, not 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 very very good for. Yeah, uh, I don't I don't say that. <laughs> but yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, class. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Okay, let's listen. Let's listen. Okay, I'm sorry, but let's listen to this listening. Okay, Larry, I think you have the fan right in front of you right now. Do you have the fan right in front of you? Probably the... Excuse me, I have nothing right here. Probably the audio for the microphone, right? Yeah. Once again. No, I, I, I have another earphones. Move, they make move. a sound. Oh yeah? It sounds like outside of you there's an airplane. Right. <laughs> yeah, like those turbinas. Yeah. Like, Maybe the sound of my computer, I don't know. It's uh, Maybe no. Las Viga? Maybe. Oh, it could be. Yeah, it could be. Okay, okay let's, 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 let's listen to this listening. <laughs> Listen to Carlos and Vicky talk about San Francisco, who seems to like the city better. Do you know the story about San Francisco? When you think of San Francisco, what do you think of? Golden Gate. Golden Gate, what else? Uh, a lot of guys, or gays. A lot of gay people, okay. Yeah. Okay, no, it's true. And, and, and let me tell you why. Um, Regarding regarding gay people, in the 60s, I think it was the 60s, there was the first congressman, which the, is equivalent to a diputado in El Salvador, and he was gay. De hecho, hay una película that se llama Milk. Harvey because, Milk. Yeah, that was his name, Harvey Milk. And uh, what happened is that Imagine in the 60s, I mean, the United States was still a little racist with black people. So now gay, of course, they will never be accepted. But Harvey Milk was a very, very good person. And he was openly gay. And he had a lot of acceptance from people. So of course he had a lot of rejections too. And then it was like a, Bukele Arena thing, you know, like hate, 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 veneno, 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 entre todos. But many, many people or many homosexual people in the in the country 
in the United States, they saw Harvey Milk like um, like an example, like, wow. They admired him. Yes, so many people started writing to Harvey Milk, you know, like, hey, I admire you. Um, I'm gay too, but I can't tell my parents because they will kill me. You know, I told my parents I was gay and they sent me to a psychiatrist that, you know, I mean, gay uh, homosexual people were not accepted by family. Nothing like today. Today, at least they're more accepted than before. So what happened is that Harvey Milk started telling people, hey, come, come and be part of my team. So many homosexual people in the country, they moved to San Francisco because of Harvey Milk. He Harvey Milk, then he has oficina, his office in Castro Street. So then many people moved there to help him and eventually they lived there. And that's how Castro Street became very famous. And uh, lastimosamente lo mataron uh, Harvey Milk. Uh, his opponent, su contra, su oponente. It was very sad, but he was a very good man. So that's one, one reason why San Francisco is famous. And number two, do you know football? Do, do you know what the football team of San Francisco is called? The 49ers. The Niners. The 49ers. Niners. Yes. Niners. Oh, yes, Niners. Niners. Yes, but actually the... the Correctly, it's 49ers. Yeah, but it's, and it's known. Yes. Barry, I'm going to put you on mute because you hear the. But sound. but it's it's not me. I I I have in I am hearing too the, the that sound and I disconnect the the earphones and, and it's still uh, the just the microphone, no, just the, the microphone. Yeah, I don't know. When I put you on mute, the, yeah, you see. The sound the problem stop. is so. <laughs> yes. Or is Larry or is the whole class together? <laughs> or is Zoom? I'm hearing. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, do you, I don't know. Maybe you have a cell phone close to to the CPU or something. There's there's static. Okay, so the 49ers. They're called 49 because San Francisco in 1849, there was the gold rush, the gold fever. So there was a lot of gold in the river. Por eso que el, the football team, the color is gold. So really, man, that was a good I, business. I didn't know that picture. <laughs> yeah. So many, many people immigrated from the world San Francisco, like, oh my God, gold, gold, la fiebre de oro. That's why, that's why uh, San Francisco is rich in culture. That's why San Francisco has the Italian town, Chinatown, Judah, the, the Jewish. They have every, every um, race because so many people from the world immigrated in that time to San Francisco. Y ahí se quedaron. So that's why San Francisco is crazy. I love San Francisco. If you go there, you s I imagine San Francisco was the hippie movement. But it's so expensive. Oh, it's very expensive now, yes. But anywhere Peter, San Francisco is close. And the, there is one, the, a third, third, third fact of San Francisco, the Levi's jeans. <laughs> the Levi jeans, yes. The Golden Gate, do you know why the Golden Gate is famous? The Golden Gate is famous because it was a way to show American engineering that they actually can make a, a bridge under the under the ocean or, or the water with that pressure. So then they did a lot of studies and good engineering. So many, many countries in the world, they took a lot of examples from the engineers of Golden Gate. You know, when, when they made, like here in Rio Lempa, oh, no, I'm joking. No, but like, 
like no the recent the recent bridges they took a lot of examples from the engineering from the engineers that made the golden gate all right okay. so that's why it's but san francisco is beautiful but like mirna says it's very expensive but do you know why it's very expensive mirna no i don't everything uh, san jose san francisco anything one hour from San Francisco is very expensive because of Silicon Valley, which is in San Jose. San Jose has Microsoft, Facebook, YouTube, Google. <laughs> Do you know how many jobs that thousands and thousands and thousands of jobs y trabajos muy bien pagados? That's why everything. Whoosh. They're expensive as in New York. But I know New York, Manhattan is expensive to live there. Or... Yeah, no, I think New York is more expensive. Expensive than, right? Yes. Okay, so let's listen to the story of San Francisco. Can you hear? No. No teacher. No. You're not sharing. Sharing. Thanks for agreeing to meet me here. Listen to Carlos and Vicky talk about, about San now? Francisco. Yes. Who seems fine. to like the city okay. better? Okay. Hi, guys. Hi. Hiya. Thanks for agreeing to meet me here on such short notice. No problem. Well, listen, as I said to you on the phone, I'm doing a story for a magazine. I'm interviewing foreign students to get their impressions of different cities in America. Uh, well, this should only take about 10 minutes or so. Let's see. Uh, do you mind if I tape record our interview? Oh, no, not at all. Okay, then. Carlos, why don't we start with you? What do you think of San Francisco? How do you like it here so far? It's okay, I guess. Oh, you don't sound very enthusiastic. No, no, I like it. It's just that I've been so busy studying. I haven't had much time to explore the city. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, and when I have the time, well, it's so cloudy and foggy here, especially in the summer. I never thought I'd be wearing a sweater in July. Well, this is Northern California. Hey, maybe you should move south. I hear Los Angeles is warmer. Vicky? Oh, I love it here. I think this is a beautiful city. The rolling hills, the views of the bay. It's very romantic. Yeah. So how do you guys spend your free time? Well, I'm studying architecture and I'm somewhat of a photographer. Really? Oh, I'm just an amateur. Anyway, I, I'm always taking pictures of the buildings in the city. You know, the Victorians, the modern skyscrapers downtown. There's such a variety of buildings in the city. The architecture is really great. I've also taken pictures of other landmarks like the Golden Gate Bridge. It looks totally different when the weather changes. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, well, Vicky, it's your turn. What do you like to do? I'm a bit of a night person. There's always a new club or a film or a great outdoor cafe to check out with my friends. And we also like to explore the different neighborhoods. It's pretty easy thanks to BART. That's Bay Area Rapid Transit. Yeah, that's a great subway system. Anyway, yesterday we went to the Italian neighborhood, North Beach, to buy some pastries and have a cup of espresso. Today, I'm going down to the Mission District to get a burrito for lunch. Hey, sounds like you like to eat Mexican food. Yes. And actually, I like the Mission a lot. It's a Latino neighborhood. We don't have anything like that where I come from. Uh, well, that's about it. Any final comments? No, not really. I'd just like to say that this is a great place to live. I'm glad that I got a chance to study here. That Carlos sounds like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Carlos sounds yeah. like he's Latino and, and, and like, yeah, it's okay. Like, okay, it's so better than- He doesn't you know. like much. Uh -huh. Who likes the city better, Carlos or Vicky? Vicky. 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 Maybe Vicky, right? Okay, uh, listen again. Type in the city for Carlos and Vicky mentioned. 
do you remember? Like, who likes to take pictures in different places? Well, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Okay. Number two, instructions. Listen again, type in the city features that Carlos and Vicky mentioned. What are the city features? Cloudy. I'm sorry? Uh, cloudy, cloudy, and foggy, I heard. Cloudy and foggy. Who likes to take pictures of different places? Carlos. Carlos. Who is more like a night person? Vicky. 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 Yes. Vicky. Who says San Francisco is a great place to live? Vicky. 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 Let's see what the correct answer was here. Climate, architectural, oh, landmark, nightlife, cuisine. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, it was features, okay. Yes. So they mentioned the climate, the architecture, the landmarks, the nightlife, the cuisine. You know, there's a famous street in San Francisco that's called Mission Street. That's only Salvadoreños, man. It's, it's funny, the restaurante Chalateco, pupusas, and then it's everything. But the beautiful thing is like you go to a pupuseria and you see a lot of black people, Chinese people eating pupusas. Yeah. Okay, class, then thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher, have a good night. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.